how to connect and test protocol conversion. Log in to EC Connect configuration tool and open the saved configuration file. As EC Connect does all the communications with Sync devices through Ethernet interface, the IP address of the Sync device and the computer has to be in the same IP range. To change the IP address of Sync device from the default IP 192.168.0.121, click on the device, select IP configuration from settings. Enter the default IP address 192.168.0.121 and the new required IP address subnet mask and gateway. Ensure that the computer has an IP address in the range 192.168.0.x for initial communication with the device. Click OK to apply the new IP address and to restart the device. Once the device has restarted, the device time and time zone has to be configured to match with the computer time. Select time settings from settings to configure the time and time zone of the device. Use set time option to set the time and time zone of the sync device. Use get time to get the current time settings. Once the configuration is complete, select download option to download the configuration to the device. Select the configuration file option, enter the IP address of the sync device and click download to download the configuration and apply to the device. Once the configuration is downloaded, the communication between the SYNC device and the IED will be initiated. EC Connect provides two diagnostics option to monitor the communication between SYNC device and IED. The diagnostic traffic monitor and diagnostic SYNC DB monitor can be used to monitor the real-time communication between the SYNC device and the IED. Ensure that the enable SYNC DB monitor is configured as true before downloading the configuration to activate the SYNC DB functionality. Here we have configured DNP TCP master and Modbus TCP slave for protocol conversion in the SYNC device. ASC 2000 is used to simulate DNP TCP slave and Modbus TCP master. The SYNC DB enables to view the data transfer between the DNP TCP master and the DNP TCP slave real time. Once the sync DB is started, the data change will be updated whenever the change happens and also periodically for the analog values. Refresh button can be used to update the value at any moment. Also, the diagnostic traffic monitor enables to view the data transfer 
between the master and the slave protocols. Two protocol channels can be monitored at the same time. It also helps to diagnose communication failures and correct the configuration files accordingly. Traffic Monitor also provides an option to save the log communication log files to a text file when required. Hence, the protocol communication in the sync device can be diagnosed. Thank you.